and they'll put out money at 75, 85% no. per annum. Gosh. They don't put that on the contract. Yeah. That doesn't go on the contract. You borrow 50, you pay back 65, 70,000. If that's over six months, that's what they need annual percentage rate. No to credit cards, pay things on time, but when you do need to fund your business, what are the best options? So there's a few options. Uh, there's some really good options out there now, and there's some really bad options. Um, business loans are, are, are a massive industry now in Australia. There's probably over 20 different lenders. So these are these are companies, uh, big and small, who are, are non-bank lenders. And, and look, most small business owners would be aware of them. They're non-bank lenders. It's fast money into your account based off a matrix system, and it's usually your bank statements that they're looking at. So they're looking at the cash flow of your bank statements. So you've got a scenario, you go to NAB, I'll pick NAB because that's who I bank with, and you say, I'd like a business loan. Their turnaround time, um, if you don't have a business banker, which most small businesses don't, would probably be six to 10 weeks uh, and, and six page forms to tell you, uh, we can't give you a business loan, or, or how about we secure something against your property? As we know, banks have a love affair with bricks and mortar, so they, they want to know that you're a property owner. Not all business owners are property owners. So uh, that's that's one option. The other option is you, you talk to a broker or you talk directly to one of those business loan specialists. They look at your bank statements, they assess you, and you've got money in your account usually within 24 hours to 48 hours. Mm-hmm. So it's a really quick sugar hit, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So it's very simple for businesses to get access to funds if they've got a good credit score, if they've had an ABN that's been around for probably more than six to 12 months, and if they're property owners, that's that's even better. So the good thing about that is that there, there are some really reputable lenders out there that have very competitive interest rates. Uh, they're completely transparent with how they do business and how their contracts are set out, um, and you get funds fast. But what you've got to be really careful of is a lot of these business loans uh, are very short, so they, they amortize really quickly. So you might borrow $50,000 and you're paying it back in six months. Now, if that interest rate's too high, you're actually borrowing money to pay back money. That, mm. That's all you're doing. Right. And I see that uh, in really bad quite often. Uh, and without sounding too controversial here, at the bottom end of the spectrum, you've got lenders who will do it at an annual percentage rate of about 14.95%. At the, at the, sorry, that's at the, the, the better end of the spectrum. At the worst end of the spectrum, you've got lenders who, um, I would definitely put them in the category close to lenders of last resort, and they'll put out money at 75, 85% per annum. Gosh. They don't put that on the contract. Yeah. That doesn't go on the contract. You borrow 50, you pay back 65, 70,000. If that's over six months, that's what that annual percentage rate ends up at. So, it, it really is a bit of a, it's, it, it's, it's a really hard, um, industry to, to navigate because it is, they're so good at their, they're so good at their marketing. Well, well, well done, but they're really good at their marketing. And a lot of business owners just fall into the trap of borrowing money and then redrawing money. So they're just borrowing money to pay back money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, th- there's, yeah, so look, on one side, you've got non-bank lenders, um, with low interest rates. And, and, and some of them even have an overdraft facility or line of credit facility, which is great because you're, you're, you're using it, that cash when you need it, you're paying that cash down. You're only paying on what you use. But, um, the other category, which unfortunately sometimes brokers really push because the, the commissions for the brokers are so high, um, is, has devastating impacts on businesses. I've, I've actually never seen it end well for, for businesses. You're borrowing money at 90% per annum sometimes over 100% per annum, um, that's, you're going to end up, you, you're going to be screwed. Mm. Okay, so so it seems like it's very easy to, to choose the wrong product mm. as a business owner. And look, business owners are often really busy with what they're doing and there's a lot of things going on. Um, so the, it seems to me, ideally, they should be talking to somebody like yourself, a broker, Actually, looking at the right who, who understands the product, understands the business, and can match the right product with the right right scenario. Yeah, look, absolutely. If they don't have the time to go to the, the different business line lenders themselves, you, you get a broker involved, somebody who's been referred to you or you trust or you've used before. Uh, sometimes the, I'm, I do a lot of asset finance broking, so you think of what I do is I do anything but mortgages, mm-hmm. uh, anything for a business or a consumer other than mortgages. 
So although we do a lot of vehicle finance, truck and trailer finance, we have a, a big part of our business that knows exactly what's happening out there in the business loan market because it is so popular. So you do, you need to find a broker that you trust who's going to look after you. It's going to steer you towards who's the best lender for you. Um, and that generally comes down to who's going to have the cheapest interest rate. That, that's generally speaking. No hidden fees, that type of thing. You can pay it out early without any penalty fees. That's what a good broker is going to look at for their, for their customer. Mm. And, you know, somebody who has got themselves in a little bit of trouble, perhaps with, by using paying their credit card late, not sure what to do. Um, that credit his credit rating, how how does that impact this process? It impacts it massively. You can forget about it. If your score is under five hundred, um, you're going to the you're going to the lenders who are going to charge you significant uh, interest rate, which is more than likely just going to compound your problems. Mm. So I just my caveat there is that if you if you've got an opportunity in your business, uh, if you get a chunk of cash and you've got an opportunity in your business to turn fifty thousand dollars that you're borrowing at a really high interest rate. Into a hundred thousand or hundred and fifty thousand, then you've got to go for it. But if you just if you just band aid, uh, putting a band aid over over problems that you have in your business, whether it's tax or whether it's some, um, uh, you know, working capital or what, things like that, you, you've got to think long and hard about what's what's going on. Because mm. I'll go as far as to, to say that in the insolvency notices that come through, I'm not sure if you get those from different insolvency practitioners, you'll see particular lenders where you know that that customer, that business has gone into insolvency, and who the who the person is putting into insolvency. And there's a bit of a there's a bit of a track record there of who, who the who the lenders are. Mm. And there's lenders in in finance. Um, I'm getting a little bit more controversial here, but you know, why not? Um, in in finance, uh, most brokers work through an aggregator, and there's lenders. An aggregator is just somebody who puts all the lenders together. So you've got Westpac, and BOQ, and they have it, uh, ANZ. Metro and all these different asset finance lenders and business loan lenders, there's lenders that want to get on our panel, the aggregators panel, they'll never get on the panel. Mm. They'll never get on the panel. You can't get on an aggregators panel and charge that sort of interest rate, no matter how poor the customer is. <laughs>